we have multiplication of polynomials. We have two polynomials in parentheses. How we do multiplication? We have to multiply every expression in the first parenthesis by every expression in the second parenthesis. So we have first ax times this whole expression in the second parenthesis. Close parenthesis. Next we have negative ay. We have to multiply times ax plus ay minus by minus bx. And next we have negative by times the whole expression in the second parenthesis. And now we have positive bx times this whole expression in the second parenthesis. So we have ax plus ay minus by minus bx. So this is equal. Now we have to use distributive law of multiplication. First we have to distribute ax over each term in the parenthesis in the polynomial. So we have ax times ax. Next we have positive. When we don't have signs, always positive, positive, nice positive, so we will be positive. ax times ay. Positive times negative, so will be negative ax times by. Positive times negative will be negative ax times by. And now we have negative sign times positive, so will be negative ay times ax. Negative times positive will be negative ay times ay. And now negative times negative, so will be positive ay times by, negative times negative give me positive ay times bx. And next we have negative times positive, so it would be negative by x ax, negative times positive, so it would be negative by times ay. Negative times negative, so will be positive by times by. Negative times negative, so will be positive by times bx. And the last expression, we have bx positive times positive, so will be positive bx ax. Positive times positive, so will be positive bx ay. Positive times negative, so will be negative bx b, y, and positive times negative will be negative b, x times b, x. So this is equal. First we will do multiplication. The same variable a and a, so we copy the base and we add exponents, invisible 1 and 1, so it will be 2. a times a is a square. x times x also will be x square, invisible 1 plus 1 is 2 plus a times a is a squared, and we have x, y. Next we have negative sign, a, b we will write first, and next x, y. Negative sign, a, b, and next we will have x, y. Of course we should have here b, x. So we have ax, bx, so ab, x times x is a square. Next we have negative sign, a times a is a square. First I will write x and next y. Again, negative sign, a times a is a square, y times y is y square. Plus we have a b, I will write first, and y times y is y squared. Next we have plus a, b, x, y. And we have negative, first I will write a, next b, x, y in alphabetical order. And next we have negative, 
first will be a b y square y times where y is y square plus by times by is b times b is b square y times y is y square plus b times b is b square and next i will write x y next we have b times a so a b x times x is x square plus b a so it will be a b x y negative sign b times b will be b square x y and negative sign b times b square x times x x square this is equal now we have to combine the like terms first we have x square a square x square so we check if we have we don't have so first expression we can rewrite next we have a square x y and we have negative x a square x y so we can cancel out let's check if we have a square x y we don't have more next we have a b x y negative and positive so we can cancel out it give me zero and next we have again negative a b x y and positive so we can cancel out and next we have negative a b x square negative a b x square and positive a b x square so we can cancel out next we have negative a square y square we don't have so we will rewrite negative a square y square next we have a b y positive and negative a b y so we can cancel out and next we have b y square we don't have so we have to rewrite plus b square y square next we have positive b square x y and negative b square x y so we can cancel out and at the end we have negative b square x square so this is my solution